crispy critters. Your hand! you <laughs> oh no it's it oh, well, we'll be fine my love we've handled worse <laughs> huh? pull yourself together you have to follow this path first you need to stabilize yourself the Voshod module doesn't help with that anymore but that's all the better for us right Hello, I'm um, that Welcome back to Atomic Heart. Yes, this is Atomic Heart. DLC, um, Lost in Limbo. So, let's go. Somewhere a bit quieter. I'll explain everything then. What is this guy? Everything will be okay. I'm a pro here. Both of us, and I really want to fix that. Mm -hmm. Soon your memories will start coming back, and you'll fully acclimate to this world. Then we'll find a way out together. You had a Voshod module installed into your head, remember? That contraption can plunge you into limbo, and it also blocked your memory. <sighs> yes, not any specific memories about me. Though it blocks those too, it keeps you from remembering who you were before Bulgaria. Since Cheriton Radionovich no longer controls the Voshod, you'll get back to being yourself soon, and then you'll get out of limbo and help me, okay? Excellent! This way you'll get to the depths of your consciousness, and we can start climbing toward the exit from there.
Oh, okay, not gonna lie, it's kind of fun. 35. Only 35 of them. What do I have to do with them? So this one doesn't bring any new weapon, but kind of fun to in a special way, I guess. If you have played, I never played so when I saw it. I've been here three years already, and I still see new things all the time. <laughs> yeah, technically it's a dream. A flash of time frozen between life and sleep. Or death, in my case. Limbo lives its own life, though everyone sees it in their own way. <laughs> mm. 
The Voshod has suppressed your memory so deeply. I'm amazed we're not appearing as two white paddles on a black background tossing a swear back and forth. <laughs> it's so colorful. Butterflies, cookies, and clouds shaped like turds. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pout. I'm just glad I can finally talk to you. Now you need to keep going. The fun is only just beginning. You'll figure out what to do here quickly. Not easy peasy, but we have to defeat everyone. <laughs> and keep going down. It says itself, also I have shotgun, like, cookie shotgun, maybe? I don't know what's it called. Got it right. I'm Blesna, Katya Nicheeva. By the way, in case the Voshod wiped this out too, have no doubt, it's me, your wife. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not just a piece of polymer. Dr. Sechenov calls this form teardrop. 
I'm officially the first recon officer in the unnatural world. In general, I have a lot to be proud of, but the thing is, I really want to get out of this place. matter, the polymer is king. In the people's hands, it can do anything. The matter looks really cartoonish. intentions. Look how cheery he is. Did we set him free? Don't feel sorry for the gingerbread men. Throw them at that demon spawn. I definitely spoke too soon. Hit him, Sergei. Don't stop. He's in no 
still mood to be friends? <laughs> a lot. Where am I going? I don't even know where am I going.
What you're struggling with is Limbo's natural reaction to your ego, and vice versa. Okay, deal with that first. then there's no reason to interfere, right? Technically, we're nearing the end of the path, so everything's going to plan. I'm hoping... I see you've acclimated. Done, honey, just a little more. That was trippy. We both died there in Bulgaria in 52, and there's no doubt they saved us. But they started using us for their own purposes, both in reality and limbo. <sighs> Even comrade Miraviova, Granny Zina. I wish I could forget all of this with you and start living a normal life. We have a plan and a chance.
I hope it works. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Am I doing something wrong? my love. Is that good thing? Here's a report from the real world. Soldiers went into the office. Some from Argentum. Krypton and Radon. Those two are always together. I thought they were stationed all around the world. Who's giving them orders when the Collective hasn't launched? Have I already told you how time moves here? Well, the Collective hasn't been launched yet. Technically, neither has the Atomic Heart Project. So we have time to get out of here. Time for you to move. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sergey, are we a good team? We really need to find the exit.
You've covered a lot of ground, Pioneer Nichayev. Sechenov gains knowledge from Limbo. You and I can't make out what's what here. There'll be hell to pay. But Dr. Sechenov can see the intricacies of space-time. For people like him, Limbo is an observation deck into all possible scenarios. The doorstep of reality. Mathematic analysis and predictions, quantum entanglement, and the radio of the future are all great, but Limbo is so much more. The basis of creation, the Big Bang, the Great Filter, call it what you wish, but literally everything is encoded here. The past and the future. Everyone can see only to the best of their ability. For example, your capabilities are sufficient only for the sky, grass, and obscenities. <laughs> we'll fix that. Sadly, his dad. Dad is. Dad is. So about my mother's hut, not the flying one. That's a radio comms complex. No, I mean the creature. When you go to a new place as a tourist, you will think about what you'll take as a souvenir. And how you'll do it if the place is a different world. You need to understand what kind of matter exists there and what laws of physics it obeys. That's not in our power. But Dr. Sechenov was glad to have a challenge for his genius mind. And he succeeded. The creature, the hut on chicken legs, is the first and only material evidence of Limbo's existence. Dr. Sechenov's trophy. It's considered lost, but you and I both know who found it. So it's not like genetic, some, some, some like that technology, but it's from Limbo. Remember how I said that Dr. Filatova was studying a group of volunteers at the AOC? She either didn't know herself or tried to use you to put pressure on Dr. Sechenov, but it's not related to the collective. The collective is exactly what the triumphant slogan said, a utopia where people can come together and control robots. They were looking for a way into limbo at the AOC, and more importantly, a safe way out. So far, only two living people have managed to get out safely, you and Sechenov. I don't count yet, but I'd like to change that. What is that sound? Why there is like a vital sound or something? Hear that? Alpha, oh. you did it! <laughs> <coughs> Damn it! Crispy critters! Two things! I remember everything, and I'm not your love. Crispy crit. What? Let's admit that we're both monsters created in Facility 3826 Labs. We need each other, but there's been no us for three years. So I'm sorry, honey. Why, shouldn't you stay here a bit longer to help you remember everything? Just facts. I see. But we're going up to get out of limbo, right? Right? What's next? Okay, okay, so we'll stop with light here for a moment. Okay, one, I will stop light here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you don't find it. Okay, the tag here. So, my name is Lil Fussy, and for today, I'm out.